Hey there, I'm Kevin, and of course my show is called Hiking with Kevin. Coincidence? <laughs> Believe me, that was well thought out. I wanted to thank you guys for watching my show, and also I hope you subscribe to my channel and turn on notifications. And a very big thank you to my hiking guests for joining me over the past three years, but mostly for trusting me to be alone with me deep in the canyons on some of these trails. I mean, they don't even know me, some of them. I could be some kind of psychotic killer. Anyway, I put together something I think you guys might enjoy. This is part one of just a few of my favorite hiking highlights from over the past three seasons. Total transparency, did that mostly for myself. Makes me feel good to revisit those hikes. But hey, feel free to jump on board. You're welcome. Watch your shows. I know when you're you pretending you're getting your camera ready, but you're really rolling, so you can like catch people doing, you know, getting their nose clear. Or well, I've been I able to ask. I see the red button. Well, I see the red button. I know it's on. I've been. It's I've, on. I've been. I've been in this business a long time. It's on. You know? I know when a camera's rolling. Why are you so suspicious? <laughs> well, you are a bad girl. Me? You're yes. the one that's like. You don't. I'm like I'm available on Thursday. I'm available on Saturday. I'm available on Monday. You're like mm, not me in none Here's of those my... times. I'm like who's show is this? When you're finished, let me know. Are you tired? No. Can you just slow down for a sec? No, it's just a hard thing. Okay. Well. Do you ever do a scene and you're not really sure why it's funny, but you do it because you trust the director, and then you watch it in the theater and people are dying laughing, and you still don't know it's funny, why it's funny, but now you're afraid to ask why it's got to laugh. No. What's your Zoolander look again? My Zoolander look would be, uh... Right. Do you still enjoy acting, Kim? Oh boy, that's <laughs> um do I enjoy acting? Between yeah. action and cut, I love it. I'm ready to get back on the screen, I think. Uh, oh yeah? You just gotta find the thing. It's that... gotta be something that really moves you. Right? Yes. I was uh, a nervous, anxious person. Anxiety runs in my family. Yes, you are anxious. I remember that now. And uh Do you do that little finger thing. Yeah, I would anxious. grind my fingers together and do you have so... to wear a finger guard at night? You know, if you're gonna make jokes when we're breaking no, through to real to... therapy, uh, <laughs> then maybe you'd be a terrible therapist. How crazy was it living in Washington, D.C.? I mean, these are the people you made fun of all your life. Kevin Nealon says he's yeah. against crime. Yeah. But did you know that in 2003, Kevin Nealon was involved in a series of gangland slayings? <laughs> <laughs> Did you ever dress up like glamorous as a woman? Right, let me ask you this. When was the last time? When was the last time? You know what I'm saying. When was I the don't. last time you had a dress? You wore a dress. That's a very different sentence than have you ever dressed up <laughs> as a glamorous woman? <laughs> uh, are you about to kiss me? <laughs> you were an alcoholic. You still are an alcoholic. Right. You're a big fat alcoholic. You never admit that. Right? <laughs> <laughs> sure. I want your head, devil. I want your head. What I say? I want your head, devil. I want your head. That's right, Lord. I want your head, devil. Mm, sister. I want your head. Who's calling you, Robert Plant? Sandler. Is it really? Yeah. You just sent him away? Yeah. Wow. Molly, I was just saying how excitable you get about things <laughs> and you get so enthusiastic and you're so curious about Aww, everything you would be great a great audience for a magician <laughs> <laughs> Kevin you're funny <laughs> I don't know where to start with that well it sounded like lots of wet farts <laughs> one of them might have been yeah. <laughs> One of them asked me how I feel. I said, what was it like to do this? Because I know you don't have feelings and you hide them. You well, hide your feelings. Well, ask me. Maybe I'll open up to you. How are you feeling these days? Fuck off. Why are you so ornery? You know ornery. what ornery means? Yeah, that's when you're with a lady. <laughs> no, no. You also seem like the type of person that enjoys massages. <laughs> Deep tissue. All right, now listen. <laughs> this has already gotten weird. <laughs> I'm in the woods and you're yeah, asking me if true. I like deep tissue massages. Right off the bat. I thought it was going to be super normal. Do you like pudding? I like a nice pudding. 
I'm just a poor boy. He's nobody just a loves poor boy. me. Nobody loves him. Thunderbolt and lightning, very, very frightening me. Galileo. 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 Galileo Figaro. Magnifico. Oh. <laughs> Is there anything about you you would change? As far as being a woman now. Yes. I mean, you've experienced both. Is, is there a better orgasm? <laughs> which, is, which is better uh, for an I, orgasm, man or honestly, woman? Honestly, I, I have no idea because I haven't been on the woman's side yet. Yeah, so, oh. yeah, I you haven't, haven't had the surgery I, yet? I, well, no, uh, we don't talk about oh, those things we don't talk about yet. that, okay. Yeah, we don't talk about that. But for me, I, I just felt um, for me to live my life authentically, it was important for me to yeah. do. I mean, and that's you, my own personal decision. Would you say you're happier now than you've ever been? Oh yeah, yeah, definitely. Nice. Yeah, definitely happier. Yeah, and I'm happier too that this walk is finally over with. Thank <laughs> God, there's the car. Oh, come we on, we did it. Come on. Wait, now you get. Of you're course, you waited. Shape. You're still I know. Out of shape. You waited. Yeah, you waited to get back to the car before you asked all the, the <laughs> sex questions and yeah, surgery questions. I understand. Come on. Holy shit, Adam Sandler, pick up. Do you know who we're hiking with today? What do you mean? Hiking Are you with my buddy, Gary Shandling. This is so interesting. How many people have um, part of Gary? How are you with anxiety? Oh, terrible. All oh, the really? time, 100% all the time. Yeah, all the time. The first thing my therapist out here in LA ever said to me, I sat down, I started talking, and I talk a lot. No. 20 minutes. You've hardly said a word since we started this trip. <laughs> what is it like being in a relationship with a full-fledged, verified movie star? Hey, we're walking here! What's your happy face look like? <laughs> <laughs> What's your sad face look like? When somebody does a Sandler impression, they always do that. <laughs> what is it? Yeah. Look? I Show think. me. What is it they do? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. It's oh, getting you know. dark out, man. Yeah, spooky. I like it. <laughs> Have you ever manscaped your body? Well, by manscaping, do you mean some hair removal and shaping? Yes. Um, yes. Well, that's a very personal question, but yeah. yeah. I have such a uh, rascally reputation. <laughs> have people told you you're difficult? No, I know I am. Ooh, that was close. How great would a Farley been in the movie Grown Ups instead of you? Wouldn't that have been great? <laughs> <laughs> Excuse they me. Saw her. I'm sorry, I didn't realize we were bringing our phones. <laughs> My first serious boyfriend it was very sweet. So it was your fault? And <laughs> uh, are we going really slow or really fast? What's the longest you've gone without shaving your legs? Ooh. I went to the dentist before this hike. You went to the dentist? Yeah, I had a cavity filled. Nice. You don't mind that, do you? No, I mean, I have all false teeth, so I'm curious how I got a cavity, but... I didn't know that. Yeah, they're all fake. If Trump had to give you a nickname, what would it be? Fat Face. Fat Face Nick? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> do you vote Nick? I do. You actually go down to the booths and you vote? Oh, no, I vote for, like, American Idol stuff like that. Oh, I, I, I see. just do that kind of the voice, uh, American Idol. You know we're both Scorpio. <gasps> yeah, that's right. That's why we get along. That's right. How's your stinger these days? Dull. Dull. Mine's very dull. Really? It may not be there sad. anymore. Yeah, no. exactly. <laughs> Are we talking about the same thing when you say stinger? <laughs> <laughs> I like a good, rich chocolate chip ice cream. The oh, blackberry I, I like chocolate, chocolate but I don't like chocolate chip. And you're wrong. You're no, wrong. No, no, you you're like wrong. It. Have you ever been to the Playboy Mansion? I have. You have? Oh, yeah. Those are the days, huh? <laughs> <laughs> what do you do for fun these days? Well, <clears throat> as the progressive girl would say, not this. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> Any movies you turn down that you regret? Back to the Future. You turned on Back to the Future? Yes. <laughs> you idiot. <laughs> <laughs> you know, Viagra gives you uh, boobs. I know. <laughs> I was getting over a cold. And I was afraid that you wouldn't let me come on the plane. 
with you if I had a cough. Was that, did we do an event with the, with the bank? <laughs> yes. I got sick after that. No, you didn't. I, <laughs> I remember yes. you dressed up like Cher. Yeah, it's so funny because my dad called me the next day and he said, you just solidified your job at SNL. And then like three months later, I was fired. <laughs> <laughs> Divas I've ever worked with have been men. <laughs> Seriously. One of the worst sure. was. <laughs> Who? Who? <laughs> William Hurt! <laughs> Coffee guy? I am a coffee guy, yeah. First thing in the morning, you gotta have your cup of coffee? Yeah, yeah, yeah. First Black. thing in the morning. No, I, I now have a, uh, uh, what do you call it? A thing that whips your uh, cream or milk or half and half. Wife? <laughs> what would be your ideal friends reunion? I mean, I could say this because yeah. by the time you air this, it'll already be out. Like, probably later today. <laughs> okay. So don't do it before that. <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> really seriously, I get no, I won't. I won't. I... So the exciting thing is, is that we're gonna all get together for the first time in a room and actually talk about the show. And I'm so excited. That'll to, be we're great. gonna have the best time. We really haven't all done that and actually sat there and talked about and reminisced about this incredible experience that we had. Yeah. I mean, we've, it's just, it's gonna be fantastic. I saw on the cover of People magazine that Blake Shelton is the sexiest man alive. You jealous? I mean, no, I'm just, what are the guidelines for that? <laughs> Seriously. What's so funny? Well, I like older men. You know, I mean, do you know who I have the biggest crush on right now? That's what I'm trying to find out. Bob Mueller. Ooh. He's fucking hot. Military style shit, keeping your shit together at that age, having a six pack, you know he's got an eight pack underneath those clothes. You wrote on SNL for uh -huh. six years? No, only four. Four years. Not long. So you uh, were you were so definitely I was, I was an flying. aspiring performer. You wanted to perform. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I felt so weird and embarrassed to say, you know, I, I like performing. And I knew that wouldn't happen at SNL. And I also was just kind of not really a company man. You know what I mean? Yeah. A bit of more of a prickly pair. You were what they describe uh, serial killers as a loner type. That's right. A loner. Yes, exactly. It was the spoon my grandmother used to stir the sauce, and it was the spoon my Aunt Chippy would beat us with. <laughs> if your ass smelt like gravy, you'd been a bad boy. <laughs> You know, imagine when I came out and I was 23, I, looking like this, I would have to hide, hide in the bushes every time someone appeared. I was, the amount of fear that what I had to overcome. What is the feeling that it gave you when you dressed like a woman? Well, it's a freedom thing. It... Out of all the TV shows you've done, Ray, do you miss Everyone Loves Raymond? First of all, it's called Everybody. <laughs> How many different words do you have for the vagina? So many, because I'm English. What's the big English term for vagina? The big one? Yeah. Is the it called the big one? The is term it, is for called a big, big vagina? A clown's pocket. No, I... <laughs> Wait, what are you asking me? <laughs> can you yodel? No, can you? I haven't done it in a while. You actually can. Yeah. There's an echo. Are you self-taught? Yeah. Well, I live in Germany That's really for a while. impressive. Thank you. I definitely didn't see that coming. I could juggle too. Can you? And they called it puppy love. <laughs> Little Donny Osborne. How long do you think you could survive in the wild? <laughs> With you? <laughs> Not very long. <laughs> No, because I've been on and off birth control, and I have been on birth control for a good amount of time. And then I started growing boobs at the time. I lost them, but I got them back. But thank God. It's hard to keep track of your boobs, isn't it? It is. 
You know, the Cuba swim, I failed four times, and I kept chasing after it. The whole world called it impossible. Right. When you go take a bath, uh, do you ever use a shark cage, or do you go without the shark cage? <laughs> what actor do you think is handsome? You can't say me. Do you think you look good from the back? And do you remember the day that you stopped being a teen idol? You know, the titillating questions that I expected on this mm -hmm. are just not happening. What is your real first name? It's not Fred, is it? Well, I was born with the name Ferry Dunn. Are you like me? Do you think you're not smart? <laughs> I'm, I'm a little sweaty. sweaty. Look at this. I'm a little Come sweaty on, too. how great is this? Yeah. Look Dana at this. Curvy. You've done a hike before with me yes. last season. Yes. Can you tell them a little bit about what to expect? Don't keep your expectations low. Okay. Do you think your dad would have won that election? Yeah. Do you ever forget the names of your brothers and cousins? What's, what's going on with your voice? When Dylan went electric, I was there. Wow. Good. Hi. Um, I was at the George Michael concert when he went gay. <laughs> and did you cheer? Cheer for him? Right I did. on! I did. You had somebody, not just once, but twice, write a song about you. Wait, did you date Peter Gabriel? Yeah, I was with him a long time. Oh, you should have dated Paul McCartney. <laughs> <laughs> Are you a good snack guy? You like snacks? Like, let's say I'm staying the night. And I get up in the middle of the night and I wake up and say, Brad, I'm a little hungry. Can you make me a snack? Mm -hmm. What would you make? Um, I mean, what do you have in the cupboards? I think you'd be on your own. Look at that owl. And that tree. Oh, wow. Look at that. That thing's huge. Get my bow. Your bottom's like a rock. Yeah. Except it's not hot like a rock. You're like a pebble. Yeah, it's like a little pebble run away, pebble man. <laughs> Where did you come up with the idea to do this show? Believe me, I'll be the first to tell you this is insane. Yeah, I know. <laughs>